Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as promised in the last video, I told you that I will be taking some very important questions on the concept AWS shared responsibility model. This concept, similar concept also exists in Microsoft Azure and Google GCP or any other cloud for that matter. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with our very first question on the AWS shared responsibility model. So let's begin this episode 39 with question number 271. The question is saying, according to the AWS shared responsibility model, which job is shared between AWS and the customer? Your options given are option A, physical and environmental controls, option B, server hardware management and encryption, option C, application security, and option D, patch management and configuration management. And yes, towards the end of the video, I will share some documentation, AWS official documentation that will help you understand the concept. And then I will give you a very interesting analogy that will really help you understand the concept and get your head around the same. For now, let me tell you the correct answer. So here comes the correct answer. That is option D, patch management and configuration management. In this one, what we are basically talking about is that AWS is responsible for the patching and the fixing of the flaws within the infrastructure. But the customers are responsible for patching their own guest operating systems and the applications. So that's how patch management is the joint responsibility between the AWS and the customers. And then coming to the configuration management, in this one, AWS maintains the configuration of its infrastructure devices, but a customer is responsible for configuring their own guest operating system, databases, and the application. So this is how configuration management, the responsibility is shared between AWS and the customer. And not just the videos, my friends, that are totally free. You can also take advantage of the PDF files containing all the questions and the answers. For that, do join the community membership or let me know. Email me at connectors at the rate techblackboard.com. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 272. It says which duty is the customer's responsibility while administrating AWS Lambda functions under the AWS shared responsibility model? What are the options given? Option A creating versions of Lambda functions, option B, maintaining server and operating system, option C, scaling Lambda resources according to the demand, and option D, updating the Lambda runtime environment. So friends, the correct answer is option A, creating the versions of Lambda functions. Please note that we are talking about the customer's responsibility while administrating the AWS Lambda functions. So let me explain this a little bit more. So when the customers use AWS Lambda, now AWS manages the underlying infrastructure and the foundation services, the operating system and the application platform. However, on the other hand, the customers themselves are responsible for the security of their code the storage and accessibility of sensitive data and the identity and access management IAM to the Lambda service and within their function. And just to remind you, we have taken so many questions on identity and access management in previous parts. And in all the previous parts, I've given a lot of analogies, a lot of examples. So moving on, creating versions of the Lambda functions, this definitely falls under the customer responsibility because the customer is responsible for management and the configuration of the Lambda functions. And not just that, customer is also responsible for creating the versions, deploying the code and setting the environmental variables. And guys, AWS Lambda is a cool service, very similar to what we have in Microsoft Azure Functions. So primarily, this comes under the serverless computing, as you can see here. So what exactly is AWS Lambda? Well, AWS Lambda is just a piece of code. So you run the code or sorry, should I say you deploy the code and this code triggers on some event. And here you can read what is AWS Lambda. So basically you run the code without provisioning and managing servers, creating the workload aware cluster, scaling logic, maintaining event integration and managing runtimes. And the best part is that you can deploy and you can develop these codes in any language that you prefer. For example, you have this Node.js, Python, Go, Java and many more. So please go ahead and do some research on AWS Lambda functions. With that, let's move on to the next question. Question number 273 that says, according to the AWS shared responsibility model, which of the following is the customer's obligation? Your options are option A, patching underlying infrastructure, option B, physical security, option C, patching Amazon EC2 instances, 
and option D patching network infrastructure. So could you guess the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is patching Amazon EC2 instances. And why this is so? Because AWS is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all of the services offered in the AWS cloud and patching the EC2 instance is the customer's responsibility. And friends, my exam tip to you is that please read these questions very carefully and always understand, always make a distinction that whether the question is asking about the customer's obligation or customer responsibility or it is asking about the AWS responsibility. And yes, stick around in the video till the very end as I give the documentation and a very cool example. Moving on, question number 274 that says which of the following is customer's obligation under the shared responsibility model? Once again, we are talking about customer's obligation or customer responsibility. Options are different, so let's check them out. Option A, ensuring that the disk drives are wiped after the use. Option B, ensuring that the firmware is updated on the hardware devices. Option C, ensuring that the data is encrypted at the rest. And option D, ensuring that the network cables are category 6 or higher. So what do you think is the customer obligation? Well, it's option C, ensuring that the data is encrypted at the rest. All the other options given here are the responsibility of AWS. Now let's move on to the next question, question number 275 that says which of the following is the duty of the client under the AWS shared responsibility model and in this question you have to pick two correct options. Option A, decommissioning of the physical storage devices, option B, security group and ACL configuration, option C, patch management of Amazon RDS instance operating system, option D, controlling physical access to the data centers and option E, patch management of an Amazon EC2 instance operating system. So let's check out the first correct option and that is option B, security group and ACL configuration. Could you guess the next one? Well, it is option E, patch management of an Amazon EC2 instance operating system. And of course, my friends, along with the question, you should actually understand the concepts as well. Because in the real exam, AWS can really tweak the question, they can change the language, they can change the option. So you really need to understand what exactly is this shared responsibility model and where to find the documentation for the same. So here you can see that we have this documentation here. It tells you all about the shared responsibility model, but I would start my explanation from this point here. Now it's easier to understand with this image here. So here you can see that AWS is responsible for things like regions. So basically we're talking about the infrastructure on which the AWS cloud is running. So regions, making sure the availability zones are there, available, then the edge locations, and of course the hardware, of the AWS global infrastructure, then AWS is also responsible for the compute, storage, database, networking and software. And then you need to understand as a customer, what are your responsibilities? So coming to your responsibility as a customer, of course, you are responsible for the client side data, encryption, data integrity, server side encryption and networking traffic. So basically in and outbound rules, then you are also responsible for the operating system, networking and firewall configuration. And besides that, platform, application, identity and access management and of course your customer data. And it's a very important concept my friends, so much so that this exact concept also exists in Microsoft Azure and Google GCP. Now let me give you one analogy, one example that will really help you understand this shared responsibility model. So imagine that you are renting out an apartment. Now in this case, the landlord would be AWS and AWS would be responsible for building the structure, security such as logs or alarms and maintain the common areas. However, on the other hand, you as the customer or the tenant, you are responsible for your belonging, interior decoration well inside the apartment and also following the building rules. So I hope you understood the difference. The AWS, it behaves like a landlord and you are more like a tenant. So in essence or short summary that AWS provides the foundation and you build and protect what's on top of it. And this is a win-win situation for both the parties because imagine when you do these things on premises, you are responsible for pretty much everything, the hardware, the software, the land, the cooling, the networking, pretty much everything. And of course, on top of that, you're also responsible to develop application, databases, configuration, and also the data itself. So you as a customer whose main business is to develop application, your website, but then the problem with the own premises was that even if you want or not, you still have to keep an army of the engineers who can really maintain the hardware infrastructure. And that's the beauty of cloud, my friends. It really helps you leverage and focus on your main business area. 
So I hope you really like the concept for today and yes, please take advantage of our multiple Q&A series on both Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.